side of the traffic jam. I'm about to head up this hill out of Nashville on 65. Which, when you don't go this way, you don't kind of, you don't really realize there's this big of a hill elevation difference between like Gallatin and Portland. I, this used to be my I used to have to go to Springfield. That used to be my route. Run all over the place and then come back through Springfield and hit this exit and go over to 41. That used to be my main run. Oh. Man, those were days where I was never more than a couple hours from home every other day, if not every day. There was only like one day that I was like a whole day away from home by the end of the day. And that was uh, Thursdays, or no, Tuesdays. been in this lane since he can't maintain the speed limit uh, I hate to say it but these foreign drivers are horrible about maintaining road etiquette They don't speak English. They they rely on translation apps and people talking for them. Like, how do you come over here and drive a freaking commercial vehicle weighing 20, 30,000 pounds in a hot shot or drive in or whatever, or upwards to 80,000 pounds in a semi? How do you come over here and drive and you can't read the damn signs? Or you apparently don't have the common sense to understand what you should do when you see said signs. Yeah, it's been a year at least since I've been this way. here they were just I think finishing up the road construction there just south of Portland or Franklin at the state line where the road work or they were just starting to actually pave the road in the construction zone Either way, it was like there was a there was a flatbed accident like the last time I was up here, or like the day after I was going through here, there was a flatbed accident.
this was an area from all the driving I had to do over here from coming and going with Springfield. I'm like, I wouldn't mind living over here. It's a very diversified forest in this area. You got everything from maple to fir to pine. Which that's something I, I kind of wish I had more of on the property we got, but we could plant a couple trees. Give it 20 years. And by then they'll be decently grown. Looks like in the back field, looks like there's some smaller pine trees or maple trees. I'm not sure which one. Oh, they're maple. Because they're or, well, I don't really know. They've got big, broad leaves. I'll put it that way. They've got big, broad leaves. Hey, it's a Pokeball. <laughs> it's a Pokeball key. Anyhow, squirrel. Squirrel! But yeah, um, I think if I go through and I clear out all the brush for uh, the back portion of the acre property, kind of go through and weed out all the brush and trash weeds and whatnot kind of clear out the space around those trees I'm thinking they might shoot up because as much as there I'm wondering if we're sitting on a little bit of a water table because we're right next to a cornfield and it actually kind of looks like the property uh, borders or the property line is a little into the field where the farmer's actually farming. Well, mark 109, so yeah, we're about three miles from the exit. I think it's I think it's at or after one of 112. I can't remember. But that was the exit I had to use going back and forth from uh, Cincinnati. Go over to our uh, crossed off warehouse in Springfield. Constructions up. I mean, slow down, dumbasses. Truck shoes right lane. Okay. illegals north to sanctuary cities. Oh yeah, they're, they're, oh wow. They're doing the whole kit and caboodle. for these dump truck companies yeah, over here are busy. Oh wow, they cut down all those trees. Oh, wow. 
all that used to be trees covering that. Damn. It's been a long time since I've been up here. Got a jackass passing. I've never seen a horn in a part of the rodeo. We're in a construction zone, dipshit. Take it easy through construction zone. <laughs> Nobody can just take it easy. Oh boy, it is a cowboy. Who was it? I don't know. Him. This is where 
construction zones need a little bit more patrolling. scale their way station oh I forgot this means I gotta go through the Franklin Kentucky scale well it looks like they just demoed that one and retired this one on the left damn Yeah, I gotta go through the Franklin scale. They always pull me in. Like Franklin, Kentucky does not like my company. Always pulling us in. says women Welcome are not Kentucky. great drivers all the time. They have some flaws. There's a nice pull behind camper. into the middle lane so they don't have to go through the scale like is that everyone's free